morning everybody and today we're going to talk about this big word behind me i don't know whether you can see it it says well you can probably read what it says if you can't it says diversity okay not a word that you might hear very often but a very very important word and we're going to talk about what that means during today's assembly so have a think, first of all, what's your favourite lesson in school? Um, is it maths? Is it handwriting? Is it reading? Is it art? Is it music? Is it science? Is it PE? History? Geography? Gosh, French, my word, don't we do such a lot of things in school? So have a think what your favourite is. Now, imagine that you only got to do one of those subjects. So even if it was your favorite one, but imagine if you only got to do say maths all day, every day, and never got to have a go at doing anything else that's different. Wouldn't it get boring? I think it would. In our school, we have what's called a diverse curriculum, which means learning about lots and lots of different things and having a, a wide variety of activities to do. That helps school to be much more interesting. We also have diversity in the types of people that there are in the world. Different heights, different hair colours, different likes, different dislikes. And it's that diversity of people and cultures that makes life more interesting too. Now, if I can share my screen, we're going to watch a short video about diversity. So let me see if I can share my screen. What's this coming up at the moment? Aha, here we are. And it's this one. So let me see if I can share it. Here we go. I think it's a good thing to celebrate people being different. I have friends from all over the world and I have some like, with different backgrounds and religions. For example, Jewish, Muslim. Very little of my family are in the UK, um, in London. Um, but then we have some family in Belgium, um, some in Congo. Then we have some in the Netherlands. Celebrating diversity to me is like really important because it makes everyone feel unique in their own way and not all the same. My community is like, it's a welcoming place. So some people are from the same places, but most of us are from different places. What makes me happy is when everyone is welcoming, no one is feeling left out. Have you ever been treated differently? It didn't happen to me, but it happened to this friend of mine. Um, this kids wouldn't let her play with her just because she was a different race? No. Yes. We weren't allowed to join the boys' football team because, yeah, we're girls. Um, so me and a couple of my friends went and made a change and now it's a boys and girls football club. What does diversity mean to you? Like how people are always like different and like not everyone is the same. To have a school that's diverse, you'd have people from Africa, Asia, Europe, and like maybe like America. I think it means being equal, even though you're different to other people. Is it good to be different? I think if everyone just looked the same, it'd just be boring. Yes, because then you can get to know people that have different languages, and you can know, learn different languages. Even though we're all different, we're still the same, we're all people. If we're not, then life would be filled of only one kind of person and there's no one who's different to you. It's also good to get a mix of different cultures and have a feel of what other countries are like as well. If everyone was the same, it'd be boring. Yeah, like everyone liked the same thing. Everyone the same. knew everyone, everyone looked the same, everyone wore the same clothes, it would just be boring. Yeah. You can learn quite a lot from people from different countries. Like, I have um, an Asian, uh, one of my best friends is Asian, and he teaches me a lot about their culture, and he even tried to teach me a bit of Japanese, but it didn't really work. Because if we all look the same, it would be really boring. What if someone was nasty to someone else because they looked different? 
I'd probably say they're being a bit of a bully. I would tell them to stop and ask them if they would like to be treated like that. And I'll tell them that's just disrespectful. You're a bully. I'll tell them to stop. And I'd go over there and tell them off right there. I would say that's, that was rude. I would say to them, don't do that because we're all the same, really. If you really think about it, we're all the same. Prejudice is when someone is treated badly because of the thing that makes them different. For example, someone might be mean to someone else because they come from a different religion, without taking the time to get to know that person. People often have a set of assumptions that they make about people from different backgrounds, and we can easily have ideas that are prejudice without even realising it. Everyone makes judgments about each other, but are they fair? Diversity is something that makes us stronger. It gives us new ideas, new perspectives, and variety is good for all of us. So, that was really interesting video all about diversity and being different and celebrating those differences. Just spend a couple of moments thinking about the ways that you're different from the people who are sitting next to you right now. Um, can you think of a friend who's been able to teach you something new because they come from a different place or speak a different language or have a different religion? Um, have you ever been treated differently because you're a boy, because you're a girl, because you've got a different skin colour, because you have, you're taller or shorter or have got a different hair colour or anything like that have you ever been treated differently and what could you do if someone was being treated badly because they were different in some way our community our school and our local community should be welcoming to all people like the community of the girl you know that we just saw in the video it, it should be everybody who feels like they're included and valued and equal within our school because that's what our school is all about Every single one of us is different. Fantastic. That's the way it should be. It's wonderful. And we need to celebrate with each other our differences because that's what makes us unique. That's what makes us special. Now, I'm going to finish um, with uh, what I'm going to do, first of all, is say that the Heads Award at the end of the week will be for um, those people who do exactly that, who look after people who are different, who celebrate um, and just love everybody for who they are. Um, I'm going to finish. If you haven't got time, you don't need to listen to this bit. Uh, but this is a song about diversity. And it's quite a nice one. And what I want you to remember this week is that we might look different on the outside. We might have lots of differences. But you know what? We all laugh in the same language. If you hear a group of children laughing... You wouldn't know who was laughing, who, who it was who was laughing, because we all laugh and smile in the same language. Thank you for listening, everybody. I'm going to share my screen again with the song. OK. Hopefully. Ah, there we go. Hello, bonjour, buenos dias. Good day, guten tag, konnichiwa. Ciao, shalom, dobre dien. Hello to all the children of the world. We live in different places from all around the world. We speak in many different ways. Though some things might be different, we're children just the same, and we all like to sing and play. Hello, bonjour, buenos dias. Good day, guten tag, konnichiwa. Ciao, shalom, dobre dien. Hello to all the children of the world. There are children in the deserts and children in the towns and children who live down by the sea. If we could meet each other to run and sing and play, then what good friends we all could be. Hello, bonjour.
enjoyed that. I shall see you in school. Bye everyone.